YouTube, how's it going? We're back in the middle of all this madness. Free agency has kicked off. Actually, it hasn't officially kicked off. It's getting hot and heavy. But it's getting hot and heavy. It's like ending, but it hasn't even started yet. Uh, we're covering the NFC and the AFC, but this video will be the NFC. So, if you haven't seen the AFC one, check that out. Check that out. It'll be up along with this one. But let's get into it. Let's just go team by team. We're going to go with already. What we know, what's has, what has happened recently, and what could happen. Maybe some news and rumors. We're going to break it down, give our thoughts on some moves. We'll start with the Super Bowl champs, the Eagles. Got Nada in there. How, I do, like it. I, actually, no, no. I love it. We didn't think they can get any more D-linemen. We thought they, are there, Is their D-lineman going to play other positions too? You never know. Is He's not even going to start. They've he's lost definitely two tight not ends. going to start. Throw him in there at the tight end. Maybe. I mean, you can't really hate on anything the Eagles do, and it, there's nothing really to hate about here. He's a good player, even though he's up there in age. He's going to be rotation. He's literally going to be rotation. That's, That's insane. I mean, Sue has mentioned that he would play for them for free, and you know, people want to go there. I mean, obviously, that's not going to happen, but people want to go there. They're the most balanced team. Uh, Lane Johnson took someone to pay cut, too, and impressed by that. Really uh, respect that because he, want, he wants to build a dynasty, really, what, he, what he's looking are. forward to. So. Clear some space, but something interesting to me is the teams that were over the cap last year were the Chiefs and the Eagles, and the Eagles end up winning the Super Bowl. So I think it's worth it. Is that their secret formula? I think so. You see NBA teams, dominant NBA teams do it, so maybe that's a secret formula. Um, what else? Eagles releasing Selleck, and they lost Trey Burton to uh, another team we will talk about in a little bit. Mm -hmm. So do they need a tight end? They do have Ertz, who's known as one of the better tight ends. They, they'll probably draft one mid-rounds. He's, he he's been kind of banged up here and there. So I can see them drafting drafting a nice tight end. Jalen Samuels, NC State, H-back, tight end. Perfect for the Eagles. Just thought of that now. He's a little different than Burton, but somewhat that same style, what they're trying to look for. So I'd look out for someone like that. I think they'll love Mark Andrews, the Oklahoma tight end, but may have to use an early what? They're, they're pretty balanced. They, they can afford to use an early pick on a tight end. So, uh, But I have... I think there's a question mark at running, but it's a little bit of a question mark. They have they're losing Blunt and Sproles, not losing them, but they're both they're both on, free the, on the border there. Yeah, of coming back or being gone, but they do have other guys. Ajayi they yeah. traded for, so they believe in him. They have Clement, who was just just outstanding. Out of, out of his mind. Um, and, and they have Smallwood, so they could be set. But some people may think they could draft one early, uh, or do something here in free agency. So. Uh, We'll, we'll see. I'm getting alerts uh, like crazy here, but we'll – oh, wow. Wow. We'll get to that team in a little bit here. Um, what's going on with the Giants going somewhat of a division order here? Uh, they're interested in Deion Lewis, the running back from the Patriots. They have heavy interest in him along with other teams. Uh, there's one other NFC team that we'll get to that is interested in Deion Lewis. You, you'd have to think the Giants need a running back, don't you? Uh, I think so. I think they're starting to kind of realize that – they might not be getting Saquon. He could be going one, could yeah. be going two. They could pass on him too. We really don't yeah. know. It's going to be a good draft because it's very interesting. Uh, but is Deion Lewis, he's better than what they got, but is he the answer? I think you need to find a legit number. I mean, he can be. He's, he's pretty He's good. one of those guys that like you want to pair with somebody who's just like your power back and that's like a consistent good power back. I don't, I don't see that here. but it, It's a risky because – It's a giant signing for sure. Just like – what people talk about Keenum, they, they don't talk about what guys like Deion Lewis like. Is Keenum going to be that same Keenum we saw this year on a different team? Deion Lewis didn't work out anywhere else, worked out in New England. Does he work out somewhere else? I think he could be good on the Giants. I think they may go want, want to go bigger, though. But I like him in a Shermer defense, or offense. He doesn't play defense. Uh, lost Weston, their center, Weston Richbury. I think they're okay with that. I think that we expected that. But they missed out on Norwell, who was the best offensive lineman. The Weren't best. they the favorites for a while? They were the favorites. Wow. The Jags yeah. landing him, um, that's big time. But hey, man. the Giants here, that's that's bad. They need linemen. They need linemen, they need running backs, they need quarterback of the future. Right now, they just have draft picks. That's the only thing they can go off of. we still got more free agency to, to go through here. But they're not that but, appealing uh, of a team. But we'll see what they do. On to the Redskins. What we got? What we got for the Redskins? Um Paul Richardson. They're signing Paul Richardson. I, I like that. that is, he's, an, a, he's a sleeper. It's sleeper a good receiver. deal. My two favorite sleeper receivers from this free agency is Paul Richardson and Marky Slee. I'm a big Marky Slee fan. He, has, he hasn't been getting any action yet, so we'll see if that As of right now, when yeah. this is recorded. Um, 
But Richardson getting five year forty million forty million is what's expected. Looks like a lot, but then you gotta go back and look, that's five years. So that's pretty that's, good. That's pretty a good, good deal. It's, it's not a great deal, pretty good deal. They also have Dominique Rogers Camardi in there for a physical, so you expect them to get something done with him. Let's hope. I like him I like th- him in that system. I like that a lot. I uh, I wish I, I thought of the Redskins more when I broke down Dominic Rogers Camardi as a free agent because they traded their their slot box guy, Kendall Fuller. To the Chiefs, oh, right. so he there you go, fill fill the position right there. I like Make, it. Makes a lot of sense to me. The other team in the division is the Cowboys. What are the Cowboys doing? Let me tell you, hold it's on, still early. On. I don't like those fans that bash their teams for not doing anything when it's still early. They have a plan in place. Let them do it, but they haven't done anything yet. It's just opposite of what you would expect. It's There's just silence. Maybe they trade for Earl Thomas. Maybe <laughs> unlikely, but maybe. Uh, on the NFC North teams. The Vikings have the Vikings done anything or looking to do anything? Uh, maybe they got maybe Kirk, they got Kirk Cousins <laughs> coming in for the visit. Uh, well, what is the contract supposed to be? Three year, eighty four million, fully guaranteed. Wow, he's spending. He's he's going to be there till Thursday. He's having dinner. He's expected to sign, but his agent wants to be clear that he may take other visits. Didn't say will may take other visits. I think the only team we can't count out is the Jets at this point. From what we heard about these other teams, which we'll yeah. get to soon, the Jets is the only other team. Vikings, Jets, we think he's going to land on the Vikings. Fully guaranteed. Maybe it's a lot of money, but why not for the Vikings? They're a quarterback away. When do you see a developed quarterback that's not even his prime yet? Prime for quarterbacks I see is 30 to 35 range, maybe older if you're Tom Brady or Drew Brees, not saying that Kirk Cousins is that. Um, but I think it's a good move. The the only thing that backfires is the Vikings seem to be cursed with injuries. And the reason he's getting fully whoa, guaranteed... Whoa, 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 The only reason he's getting fully guaranteed is because he's not an injury guy. But does he tear his ACL day one? Oh, boy. It's scary. It's scary, but I think it, it's something that had to be done. I'm a big Teddy Bridgewater fan, but we don't know where he's at. We don't know what, what kind of health he's at. Can he play at the same ability where he was at? Um, it's really a shame what happened to him. Just uh, You can make the same argument about Delvin. We just don't yeah, know. We, it's something you don't know. You, I mean, he, he partially tore his ACL. He expects him to be back right away, but can he stay healthy? Mm-hmm. I'm not really worried about his skill, but I'm, like Teddy sitting out for so long, that's where you start worrying about his skill. Not because he's got a bum knee or did. It's because he sat out for so long. So Delvin, I'm not worried about his skill. I'm worried about him not getting hurt again. Uh, Teddy's kind of got two problems there. Even though I'm a huge Teddy Bridgewater fan, I loved him as a prospect. My uh, my expertise falls out on the draft, and I really like Teddy Bridgewater, so it's a shame what happened to him. Um, other Vikings news, this is an interesting one. Latavius Murray, this is a rumor. Trusted source, but they may ask Latavius Murray to take a pay cut. If he doesn't take the pay cut, they may release him, and they're going to lose Jarek McKinnon too. They're going to be down to just Dalvin Cook. The draft is great, and yeah, they, they, they seem to be good man. at finding running backs. Yeah. But it's a little scary because Murray was pretty darn good. And what I liked about Murray was he started off a little slow. He just had ankle surgery at the beginning of the year. He seemed like he got in better shape, and he was actually getting his, – his weak, what was his weakness of his game? Speed, you'd say? say but speed. he started picking up some speed. You'd think he was he, – re- he fully recovered towards the end of the season. He and looked he was, like from day one until like when you saw him at the end of the season, I, it looked like he dropped some weight. Yeah, he, he literally looked, looked ripped, like he, he, he got skinnier. Faster. Yeah. So I, the people see with his backloaded contract, he's going to be the fifth highest paid running back this year. People say, okay, they have to release him or take a pay cut. But if you, it's like five million. That's not that much. Yeah. For a guy, I mean, he's for a backup. Maybe it's a lot, but he's pretty good. I think he can mm-hmm. start somewhere else. If they let him oh, go, he somebody definitely else will. Like yeah. the Giants will. Uh, Sherman take him in a will. Heartbeat. Yeah. In a the heartbeat. Giants will take them as their starters in a heartbeat. Um, Man, yeah, that it's so Vikings got Vikings are the team of free agency, I'd say. But on to the Packers, uh, you expect an extension coming for Aaron Rodgers right after the Kirk Cousins. The Kirk Cousins will be the highest paid quarterback, uh, guaranteed wise. Will he still be after Aaron Rodgers? He might be guaranteed wise, but you look at Luck, uh, Stafford, Carr, and then maybe Rodgers for the highest total value of the contract. Um, but the bigger news is they're trying to get Jimmy Graham. It's between him. It's between the Packers and another team, two-star quarterback, Packers, Saints. Where does he go? I, I don't like the signing in Green Bay if they get Jimmy. Really? Reason, they may cut a receiver. I Even with that, I think reason being they need to spend money on that defense. It's That's their number one area where 
you're going to spend money. Don't spend it on the tight end position. Spend it on your defense. They have so many holes in that defense, and they just need to improve. But it's that's true because they, they don't. They but they may cut guys, so they may open up some cap. They did trade trade Randall. Uh, bringing in Kaiser isn't a hit. He was a second round pick, so they could clear some cap here. But they do again. I like your point. He may be the highest paid tight end, which is a little much. He did. He was good. He's not the best tight end though, and he did lead the league in drops. But he is a factor, so it could be a good signing overall. But it could hurt them in the long run, honestly. So I like him going to the, to the Saints. But either way, um, either way, I like it. On uh, oh, but again, Packers could release Cobb or Nelson. I don't expect them to lose both. Just got some news on the next team actually. Uh, the Detroit Lions are reportedly very interested in Deshaun Sheed, one of the corners that the at the Seahawks released. They brought in Butler, too. Or they were interested in they, Butler They were talking well. about Butler, not as heavy interest as some of these other teams. Uh, they signed Christian Jones from the Bears, was kind of a sleeper guy, you'd say. I, I like him. He's He does everything right. The Niners are also bringing in. We'll get the Niners in a little bit. Uh, back to Sheed, the corner from the Seahawks. who had his moments, maybe some a potential guy. Uh, Lions Niners is the most recent report I'm getting on him. But it was a, there was a big signing in the books recently. I want to wait till we get to the to the team. I'm still reading the details right now. Uh, I, I saw some of them, let me tell you. Uh, we knew know. he was going there. We'll get to it. We don't want to excite anybody quite yet. Uh, <laughs> but the Lions, Christian good, Christian Jones, do they bring in another corner? A Butler or Sheet opposite of, obviously there's a big difference in skill gap there, but opposite of Slay, who I Slay is one of the top corners in the league, I think. But on to the Chicago Bears. The Bears are making moves. Allen Robinson. In there, I, I they, love it. You're the you're the Bears guy. We also have another. We should have got we should have got Danny Provo on the show. He is the Bears insider. Why don't we give him a ring? Should we give him a ring? We'll, we'll give him a ring in a second here because I wanna I wanna talk about these Bears. It's more than just Robinson. They got Robinson on a good deal. Supposedly, Sammy Watkins was their first choice, maybe because their offense. But I, I'm if I'm the Bears a Bears fan, I'm I'm kind of happy with their second option. They're cheaper, a little cheaper, and I think overall better receiver if healthy. Well, as Sammy a Watkins. Me as a Bears fan, I wanted Robinson over over Watkins all day. You don't know what you're gonna get in Watkins. Yeah, he can fit that Nagy offense great. But I can see Robinson fitting it just as well. Robinson brings a different thing to the table. I think he can open. I think he's more of a guy that's gonna open other things up. And he's a physical guy, yeah. sideline guy. So um, at first glance, it looks like a lot of money, but then you look at the other receivers getting their money, and it's it's not it's not bad. Um, they got Parkey as their kicker. They did need a kicker in there. Uh, Thank the Lord. Not the biggest you. new. Trey Bur- Burton, uh, a lot of offers on the table for him, and he chose the Bears. He fits that offer. What does that tell you? That tells you what they're doing. With Going back to my, my thoughts right after the Super Bowl, this may be the, – the offense may be changing the league. RPO spread, maybe some college football action – and the Bears are going that route. Trey Burton is not an every down tight end, but he's a mismatch nightmare. He's he's not going to block for you, but he again, he's a mismatch guy. Him and Shaheen should be good. I think Shaheen will be on the field more, but you're going to notice Burton more than Shaheen. And I I think this means Sims is going to get cut at which the end of the expect. Which is what you expect. He was kind of but he can. Paid a little I think he can block, which maybe they'd be lacking. Uh, so they he, may keep him on. He can block, but last need, year he was. They've making made their some cuts. Snags. They have cap space as it is. They may not need to cut Sims. You can keep three tight ends. It's a very important position these days. That's insane. I thought they were gonna have to draft one, but it's good that they filled this position now. Um, but linebacker, they they made some cuts. They lost Christian Jones to the Lions, and even with Christian Jones, uh, they we thought they needed one because they played three I think they four. More than one. They kept Fangio. There could he switch the defense possibly, but I, I expect a three four. Um, good thing is linebacker draft class is pretty stacked, but it has to be somewhat early. I'm thinking at pick eight, you get a linebacker. I I, I would agree. As a Bears fan, who you like there? I like Edmonds. Tremaine Edmonds I, out of we said it. We said it in the the Bears mock we did, and I agreed. I love it. I just love that pick. Yeah, I think that if the if he's there, it's got to happen. Fangio's gonna love this guy. So he's a beast. They got to go linebacker. They need more than just one guy though, um, but. Let's, uh, we talked about Danny Provo, and we, we wish we warned him we were going to call him because he's a Bears insider. I, I think we need to give him a call. I think we call his is office, that, yeah. Call his office? I yeah. don't think he's ready for this. So yeah, we're going to call him up. We, what, what do we want to ask him? I, I got some got some questions. Gentlemen, it's a great day. 
It is a great day for Chicago, and I'm just excited to talk to you. What's going on, fellas? How are you, Danny? He was ready for this call. <laughs> it was a little surprising. <laughs> I've been I've been waiting for about an hour here. You guys said you wanted me on, and I'm on. Baby. Danny P is ready to roll. All right, Danny. Well, I, we got some questions here for you, Danny. Let's hear it. Lay it on me. All righty. Uh, overall, we want an overall grade for the Bears' moves so far. Okay, so for the for the entirety of the Bears' moves, or just for this Allen Robinson? No, for the entirety. Break them all down. Give us your thoughts. I can I can do that. So let let me start with Allen Robinson. I'm fucking excited about Allen Robinson. Let me tell you, but I am worried because the Bears' two top receivers are both coming off some major injuries. So Allen Robinson, you got Cam Meredith. That does scare me. However, I'm still I'm still excited. I'm still excited about Allen Robinson. The dude had, what, 14 touchdowns two years ago with Blake Bortles. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. Come on now. Trubisky, hopefully he steps it up. Second year in the league. I'm uh, looking forward to that. Um, secondly, the next news we got was Trey Burton, right? So Trey Burton, five touchdowns last year. As a second tight end, that's pretty impressive. As a, yeah, a second tight end to Brent Selleck, too. So, I mean, it, it's it's got some potential. Um, I'm really interested to see what this uh, Matt Nagy offense is going to look like. Uh, I'm assuming a bunch of RPOs. Uh, both players could fit pretty well in that, and we'll see what they do with that offense. <laughs> and what about Parky? Can't forget about Parky. Who the fuck is Parky? <laughs> was he on that team last year? No, he was I not. I said he was from the Dolphins, but yeah, he he was a teammate of Jake Cutler. I'm I'm a Jake Cutler fan, so that's that's okay. All right, so what what would be your favorite move? Uh, probably that kicker. <laughs> <laughs> and what what no, move what moves do you want to see I done? Like did, like who was he on that team last year? That kicker? Oh yeah, he was eighty six percent. I don't have a lot of info on on the kicker, so. Well, 86%, uh, I know the let me Dolphins, tell you. He must have been a troublemaker because I know the Dolphins are, are cutting some people because they wanted uh, a whole new uh, culture in that. So he must have been a troublemaker. Yeah, those kickers are bad boys. That. Yeah. What what moves do you expect them to do or what you would like them to see next? This was the final question for you. Uh, honestly, it's it's tough to say. I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm curious to see because there were some rumors on Sammy Watkins. I don't know if the Bears are going to try and go for Sammy as well. He signed with the so. Chiefs. <laughs> he's signing with the Chiefs. Sammy signed nothing, with the Chiefs. Nothing official, but he's signing with the Chiefs, as, as it sounds. Fuck him. <laughs> what do you think about I mean, the linebacker yeah. situation? Christian Jones gone. He's going to the Lions, and obviously, you know, the Bears have cut some some linebackers already. Well, uh, Edmonds in the draft. That's kind of that's, how that's what my guy. That's what he was yeah. just saying over here. Um, that'll be interesting. I mean, uh, what, what do they got? Uh, um, fucking what, what's that? Uh, I was singing that song yesterday. What was that guy's name? Oh my God. Tom Bahali. Yeah. What's your thoughts on Tom Bahali? I said, come on, Ali. Come to the best, baby. Yeah. That guy. He's old, <laughs> but he can still be good. I mean, we could always get like, if we don't get a linebacker first round, we sign this, was he like 34 years old? Sign him for a one year, two year deal. I think he's 54. 54. No, that was Erlocker. Erlocker was 54. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> no, it's, it's really, I, I, I would say, um, you know, let the free agency come as it goes, you know, see what's going to happen after this draft here. Cause got a lot of good potential in this draft. I, I do think you want to go defense first, first round. If not, you trade back, get more picks. Um, the defense is what's going to carry this team. The offense could be consistent, and I'm excited to see that finally back in Chicago. But I really, I really think you got to go defense. You got to build that front, like the 2005 Bears. Fucking the defense led the Bears to the Super Bowl. That's that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, are, 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 are we all really? the Bears. You guys hear that, Devin Hester? What about him? He, he's signing back with the Bears as a kicker, though, not a not a kick returner. Didn't we just get a kicker? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just uh, messing. All right, well, Danny, no, we're, we're gonna have to let you go here. Sounds good, gentlemen. Uh, as always, much appreciated, Thanks for Danny. taking time on your schedule. We hope to have you back. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's the music. <laughs> All right. All right there, See you, Danny. All right, that was Danny Provolone, our Bears insider. He's a goofball, let me tell you. I wasn't expecting he all He also that. makes the graphics, fun fact. Yeah, I mean, the graphics have been slacking a little bit. This is more of a podcast because the graphics, uh, we need we need more uh, more help on that department. But...
Let's move on. The Saints. The Saints. Uh, yeah, we talked about Jimmy Graham. Could he be coming over either, either to the Saints or to the Packers? I, like I was saying earlier, I think that the uh, I don't like him. I don't like the Packers. Okay, I like him on the Packers, but I don't like the Packers what they're going to have to pay him. So I'm. An, I would say if I had to choose Saints or Packers, I want him on the Saints. And obviously, Drew Brees back to the Saints. We people maybe got a little scared for a second there, but cheaper. He goes back to the Saints for cheaper. Two year fifty mil was it? Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, there's they're supposedly uh, very in, very much in on Malcolm Butler, the corner from the Patriots. Him and they Latimer. tried to trade for him. They tried to trade for him a year ago. Couldn't make it happen. He could. He's, he's got some interest from other teams, but does he sign there? Parrot Latimer. That could be fun. Um, on to the Falcons. Not much going on with the Falcons. We know they need some. They need a D line. They need a pass rush. They may lose Adrian Claiborne. Uh, he's a tough one, especially for their own team to decide the market for him because he yeah. he had really one, he can play. Don't get me wrong, he can play, but he had one. The game was outstanding against the Cowboys, but it he was just, set, just the, he set the bar too high for himself. Yeah, I so mean, not everyone's expecting him to play like that. I know he can play, but it's just he's a, he's a tough one to figure out the market. Um, looking at uh, the Panthers, really not much going on there either. Um, Lost Latoule, they're going to need an interior D-line. They may need some more pass rush. They need some DBs. But other than that, there's not much going on with the Panthers. We expect them to pick out a trade for Torrey Smith. I'm not really sure if I like that deal. What is that going to do? I like that deal for the Eagles. For the Eagles, of course. <laughs> of course, everybody does. Uh, so not much going on with the Panthers. The Bucks. Um, Bucks looking at Jarek McKinnon, the running back from the Vikings. He's supposed to go else, elsewhere. Six to seven million he's looking for is speed. Receiving running back. The Bucks. I think the Bucks need him. I think... Out of all the teams we discussed, this this opportunity, the Bucks opportunity, gives him the best chance to be there every down back. Or he'll he handle, may not look like an every down back, but I think he, he still has potential. He's going to get the majority role. of the carries, and that's what I, I like think he him wants. Winston too. I like him. I, I like the duo. I love we'll it. We'll see if we make the other teams are interested. Uh, they gave Cameron Braid a giant extension. Um, that was well deserved. It, it, the only thing that's a little interesting is they drafted OJ Howard in the first round last year, and Cameron Braid's their favorite. Tenant. What does that say about him? OJ. Yeah, but I mean, again, we like with the Trey Burton thing. Uh, multiple tight ends are used now. It's very important. So they got two solid ones to look out for in the future. Apparently, he can't hear too well. That's what I heard. But I mean, they like him. Yeah. Uh, Seahawks losing players. Do they trade Errol Thomas? That's really all I got on the Seahawks. Hey, if I'm I, the Seahawks, should have like one foot in on this rebuild thing. Like in there, but they keep Russell Wilson. Do we, Russell Wilson? Do do we, we trade Earl Thomas? We're gonna keep Cam Chancellor. We got decent linebackers. Uh, we're gonna they're gonna sign a veteran running back. That's makes no sense. Demarco Murray, Jonathan Stewart, one of them that's kind of oh. old, gonna get hurt. What? They can still play, but I don't know. As long as they have Wilson, though, they're gonna be pretty decent. But it's it's very it's confusing, especially because they've been known as a team with great a great front office. Their scouting department's good too. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, looking at the Niners. A lot going on with the Niners. They are interested in two running backs. Deion Lewis from the Patriots, Jarek McKinnon from the Vikings. Mm -hmm. Which one are you picking if you're the Niners? Deion. I'm picking Jarek McKinnon. I'm taking Deion. Um, if, okay. okay, if I'm the Niners, I think I'm going to take McKinnon. But if I'm McKinnon, I think I take the Bucks. if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, looking at more Niners, uh, let's see here. The Niners, Weston Richburg. Uh, that was a surprise landing. Surprise landing there. They got her center. I didn't really expect that. It was kind of one under the radar. Um, Five-year deal there. Yeah, that, that's a surprising one. I mean, it's rare to find centers like that. I think the Giants, we kind of knew they were going to move on from them. Um, yeah, they're also interested in Malcolm Butler. Heavy interest in Malcolm Butler, but they also are bringing in Sheed from the Seahawks, the maybe a rotation corner. But it's weird to see that they could possibly be on um, in on on um, who was it? Butler still when they have Sherman and Witherspoon. I'm a big Witherspoon fan. I, again, I covered the draft. Witherspoon was one of my guys. Thought he was a late first round talent. So Witherspoon and Sherman, good duo. But bringing in Butler means they want to stack it up for now, and they want. 
they're maybe they're not sure about Sherman's injury, but they're looking good no matter what they do. But the Dion versus Jet McKinnon uh, debate is very is very uh, interesting one. Um, I saw some report on Tom Johnson, the Vikings defensive tackle. He's maybe he's had some interest in some teams. Just I got saw that. the Bills and the Raiders. Bills and Raiders. So two AFC teams. We'll, we'll talk about that. that. Tom Johnson was a solid D tackle coming from the one, uh, one of the best defenses from the Vikings. Uh, so that's something interesting that we're just getting. Uh, Eagles got to deal with linebacker Corey Nelson. They do need a linebacker help. Uh, not huge help there. But uh, Rams have a bunch of question marks. Rams are a very, very interesting team to me. Maybe teams thought people thought they were set. Obviously, they're going to be a contender, but they're lacking right now. Linebacker because they traded Ogletree mm -hmm. and pass rush maybe from the outside linebacker position, and they lost out on Sammy Watkins, who they just traded for less than a year ago. So there's still some questions for the Rams. I, as weird as it is, I think you can throw any receiver in that system, in that scheme, and I think they're going to do well. I don't think, I don't think they need any big name receivers in that system. <laughs> And I don't think they could afford them, quite honestly. But um, I don't know. I just see them building okay. building at receivers through the draft and kind of you got to make some line. You need some veteran Pass linebackers rush in there. Is so important, mm -hmm. so important. So they're not done yet. People just might be high on the on the Rams. They might be forgetting them. they need some linebacker slash pass rush. Uh, one more team, and uh, this happens to be the last team, the team we've been talking about. Oh, we they got made, some moves. They made a recent big move. The Cardinals first. The small news. Adrian Peterson most likely get releasing, and that's funny because his former teammate is where the big news comes in. They've, Sammy Sleeves. They have signed Sammy Sleeves Bradford as their quarterback. Now, the are you seeing the numbers? Uh, yeah, that's that was the big news. Right <laughs> when we started this video, I knew that they got Sam Bradford, but I just recently saw the numbers. Um, two years, but only but they can very easily. I like I see it as a like Mike Glennon Mike Glennon contract from last year. It was mainly just based on the this year they can get they can get out of it. But it is so essentially it's one year twenty million dollars with fifteen guarantees. So maybe it's really oh. they're gonna pay more money than we thought here. Um, fifteen wow. guaranteed for a guy that's gonna get hurt. He's got no ACLs. If he, I'll say this, if he is not hurt, if he plays a full healthy season, the Cardinals could make the playoffs. I think he's got All a good right, arm. You heard, you heard it here first. You remember how the Cardinals brought in Kurt Warner, draft liner? And he wore gloves, yeah. And he wore gloves, not the sleeves. Bradford's next Kurt Warner. But that year, Arizona went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm not one to speculate. A more breaking news, Tyron Matthew. What do you got on him? Tyron Matthew, uh, it appears as if like they're kind of making – it says some progress towards a restructured he, deal. He wants to stay. I think, I think he, he wants to stay. He said live he wants to stay, but I thought – I took it as he was not going to stay. But it sounds it's like – It's not really on him. Yeah, it's that's true. Um, so they get Tyron Matthew back, and they drafted well in the past. Buda Baker, Hassan Reddick. Bradford stays healthy. The Cardinals could be a surprise team. They need more offense. David Johnson needs to stay healthy. But, yeah, you forget – you could, you could say that that David Johnson's the best running back in football if he's healthy. You can argue that it was it was a broke wasn't it like a broken hand, broken wrist? That's not something you're gonna keep doing unless you're uh, Corey Coleman. You're not gonna keep breaking your hands. Yeah. So, so. Um, that's interesting. Fifty mil guaranteed is too much. Too much. One year twenty mil. I would give him five mil per. So ACL. Case Keenum got less money than Sam Bradford. Wow. Bigger total value. All, all three Vikings quarterbacks. Yeah, now we're getting reports. This may be more involved in the AFC. This video. is coming. This is coming. But Teddy Bridgewater is heading to an AFC team, it sounds like. And, I, and I like it. I like where that's heading. Um, but I really don't like it at the same time. I if mean, you didn't know, I'm a Vikings fan. I'm a big Teddy Bridgewater fan. Uh, I'm excited about Kirk Cousins is what we had to do. But uh, we don't even know It's yet. sad if he's there. But it's sad about Teddy Bridgewater. But that's that's really the NFC. Any anything else you want to cover? We need the Cowboys to do something. We need the Falcons to do something. Two teams that could be contenders if they figure it out here in the off season. But I'm a big draft guy, even for connecting teams. Build through the drafts. So you got plenty more opportunities. Free agency officially didn't kick uh, start off yet. Another guy I mentioned this video, Marquise Lee. Some breaking news on him. That's in the AFC video, which is which is going to be next. So stay tuned for that. We have created a Patreon page to uh, involve you guys a little more. We may need uh, some, some more work to improve this channel. We like where it's heading. and we like our potential thanks to our great audience. But we may, may need to improve on some things, may need some little assistance. So check that out, link in the description.
talk about that more at a different time. But stay tuned for other videos. That'll do it for this one. Check out the AFC video following this one. Goodbye, everyone.